My name is Tony Edmond, the CEO of Zafi Shoes. My name is Shadi Adinu, I call myself a chef. I am the CEO of Popnado. how to put different things together to form a magnificent piece. They can take your space and turn it into a fairy tale. On today's show, my guest is the creative director and CEO of Insignia, a company that is into interior designs and a distributor of these lovely home fragrances. And guess what? You'll get to know more about them on today's show. Welcome to Spotlight. What propelled Lucien was the word of God. With that, she launched out and the name was birthed in 2002, Insignia, a mark of excellence, a symbol of excellence. Insignia is an indigenous company with an international and global perspective. The sole purpose of Insignia is to provide individuals and corporate bodies at large a totally different and unique platform of delivering excellent service. My name is Olushe Wanonuga and I'm the Creative Director for Insignia Global Limited. Insignia Global Limited is a home fragrances and interior design outfit here in Lagos, Nigeria. We are international absolutely, but we're located at the moment in Lagos, Nigeria. With the word, her passion and being resolute, Olushe knew she was unstoppable. I've just always had a passion and a flair for putting things together, for making spaces beautiful had an eye for detail, I still have an eye for detail, and um, making sure, you know, you walk into a space and it just speaks volume, you know, in the color choice, in the accessory pieces, in every little item that is placed in there, so that's just always been a flair. And I remember, you know, back while I was growing up, I'd like to color coordinate, make sure that this, this matches this color and all of that. So it's just been inside of me. Now, it'll, be, it'll surprise you to know that I'm actually a trained chemical engineer. You know, I studied chemical engineering. I mean, have my BSc in chemical engineering and um, I worked in the oil and gas industry for a bit. And then I moved into the IT industry, was doing business development for a number of years. And then back to banking. And so it was while I was at the bank. And in all of this, I still had my passion for interior design. So a friend wants to do up their house. They call me and I just give you ideas. Oh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's put this and this together, you know, just to make sure that everything is together. And it was while at the bank, I had a few, you know, of my colleagues who would say, oh, we need a rock piece. Oh, I need to put together this sofa. I need to do this. And I started to do that. And after, you know, several years in the bank, I just had this prompting in my spirit that it was time for me to leave paid employment and start out my business. And that was how, you know, the birth of Insignia came about. <laughs> what did you require to start up this business? Hmm. Now, to set up, you know, there's this misconception where people think that you've got to have a whole lot of money saved or stored behind somewhere. I remember when I was going to put in my resignation at the bank, you know, to say that it was time for me to leave, you know, and all of that. A number of people asked me, what are you going to do? Where are you going? Are you sure some oil and gas company hasn't offered you some job somewhere? And I'll say to them that I'm going back, you know, to refocus, rethink, re-strategize, <laughs> and then I put my thoughts together. They didn't believe me. But you know, now they, they all look at me and think, oh my, she actually did, she did it. And what did I have to do? All I needed was that passion from inside of me. But the first thing that propelled me, you know, was the word from God, because it was God that said to me that, my dear, it is time for you, you know, to branch out on your own. And at that point, I knew that, you know, with that word, I could do, I could, well, first dream, anything, I could think anything, I could do anything, and I could achieve anything. And I mean, it was so remarkable that even the name of the company was 
inspired by the Spirit of God. You know, so I'm sitting down someday meditating and I was thinking and the name just popped into my spirit. The name probably popped into my spirit in 2002. And I remember I still, because I had a little notepad there where I've got, you know, like an idea book and I write all sorts. And when he gave it me that name, Insignia, I checked, what does this mean, you know? And he said it was a mark of excellence, a symbol of excellence, you know? And in that, it just made me realize that in whatever it is I was going to do, we had to always put a touch of, you know, excellence. So right now our payoff line is symbol of excellence. When we work for our clients, we make sure that, you know, we give the excellent touch. So all I really had was that word from God, my passion, and being resolute that God has given me this vision and he will provide for it. What makes you different from other interior designers? What makes Insignia stand out? We make sure we go above and beyond to ensure that our clients are absolutely satisfied. You know that one client would refer you to another person and tell one other person that, oh, I was very pleased with their services. One unhappy client would tell a hundred people that they were very unhappy. So we, as much as possible, sometimes it even gets to the point where it might be, you know, it might entail us losing a bit of money here or there, but just to make sure the client is happy because first we put ourselves in the client's shoes. So we listen to our clients, we anticipate their needs, we go above and beyond for them, we work within their budget. Insignia is an interior designing company that is majorly into turnkey projects where they start up a project from start, from conceptualization to finish. Their reputation is built on creating original, modern, elegant interiors for their clients nationwide. Their interior design services cover everything from space planning and color scheme of fabric advice to ready-made furniture as well as designing bespoke pieces that will redefine your space and translate your vision into the home of your dreams. Insignia are also producers of custom-made furniture made in Nigeria from exotic rugs, curtains, clothes, pillows from all over the world to exquisitely finished furniture for homes, offices, hotels, hospitals, schools, Insignia furnitures are handcrafted using the finest materials and best of all, will complement your interior design concept because it's a piece that reflects you and your organization. The choice of materials, paints and finishes is selected to enhance your skin's detailing and allows you to influence the design. The services and works of Insignia spans across the country whether you are planning to modernize, remodel, create an extension or just need some home repairs. From the smallest home repair project to an extreme makeover home addition, their home improvement consultants will help you remodel or design a total home makeover better than you expected while still retaining your homely feel. What we do is, you know, turnkey. We do turnkey projects. Now, I'll explain that. Turnkey project means that we can start up a project from scratch. That's from inception, from the point where you're conceptualizing the project all the way to the finished project. So now I'll give you an example. Um, say you want to put together a restaurant and you have um, an old building you want to remodel or something. We come in at that point. A lot of people think, you know, as an interior designer, it's only to come in and put the finishing pieces, i.e. the soft furnishing, the furniture, the throw pillows, the rugs, the painting and all of that. But because we do turnkey, we actually are involved with the hard finishes. So we can put break walls, we can put the walls together, we can break tiles, put tiles up, do POPs, you know, and um, also come in and finish the interior. So everything from the wiring to the plumbing systems, the electrical works and all, that's all of what we do. So from start, from conceptualizing to, you know, um, the inception, even on, until the finished product. That's what we do. There's still so much I know you want to tell us, but we have to go on a break now. When we return, we'll be talking about the products and services offered here at Insignia. Stay tuned. From the warm welcome to the world-class studios with state-of-the-art equipment, let your imaginations come alive. Record all your talk shows, sitcoms, game shows, product adverts, music videos, and more. 
Unleash your imaginations in our fully air-conditioned modern studios. Enjoy all the space you need. Our top-class changing room, a serene environment to relax in between recordings. Constant power supply just for you. Red Cherry Studios guarantees top quality pictures and services. Contact us today and make your bookings. And one more thing, we are totally affordable. Red Cherry Studios, the producer's and director's choice. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Spotlight, and our guest is the creative director and CEO of Insignia. And before we went in the break, she was just telling us about the products and services that are offered here at Insignia. So tell us more about it. Um, another aspect of um, Insignia is that we've got um, home fragrances. Now, we're the distributor for Yankee Candle product in Nigeria and West Africa because we've moved a little into Ghana as well. Now, Yankee Candle is a huge brand in the United States and they're all over America, they're all over Europe, they're all over Asia and the Middle East. So now in Africa, they're here as well and we're representing them in Nigeria. Yankee Candle is, um, they, they, provide, they, they do a blend of luxurious candles where you can, you know, light a candle, it gives you a nice fragrance, it creates a warm ambience in your environment, in your space, and it just goes hand in hand with what we do. Because those are like the little accessory pieces we can put into a space after it's all been done. I'm saying after you've done the tiling, you've done the POPs, you've painted the walls, put in the um, furniture, and all of that. So the home fragrances is another bit of what we do. Um, we also, you know, do custom made furniture right here, proudly Nigerian, made in Nigeria. Now, sometimes we might need to import a few materials here and there, i.e. the wood or, you know, whatever it is, but the furniture, all proudly made in Nigeria. Sometimes we select fabric from all around the world just to do it here. And we have our, you know, Nigerian, carpenters who would put together a good piece for you and it will rival anything everywhere or anywhere in the world. So here are all our fragrance range. You know, this is like the entire range of the Yankee Candle products. Now, they're the candles themselves and the accessories. Okay. Now, these are accessories, these are the candles. This is a small jar, a small classic jar, a Yankee Candle small classic jar. Now, this has a bond time of up to 40 hours. Look at, this is a lemon lavender fragrance. Okay. It's a fresh scent, if you want a fresh fragrance. And you know, this is it. Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like. So for you to get the exact fragrance, you need to smell the cap. And this is what it smells like while it's burning. Remember that these candles are in bottles, they're in jars like this. Mm -hmm. Now these jars are very safe, so they're remarkably safe. We never have any incident with anybody burning. As long as while you're burning the candle, you know, you don't have your curtain dripping over it. Yes. It's in a clear space, free of flying objects or whatever. It burns easily. I burn my candles even while in bed, you know, you're sleeping and it burns because easily. this is a burn time of up to 40 hours. Now, these are diffusers. Okay. This has got a scented oil in it. This is sage and citrus. This is a, you know, fruity, it's orangey, it's fresh, it gives a lot of zest mm. to a space. Now these diffusers have the reeds in them. For you to use this, you're going to open this pack all up, okay. you know, and put the reeds in this oil. Mm. Now that is how it diffuses, that's why it's called a diffuser. They're available in various fragrances. The fragrances are categorized into fruity, mm -hmm. floral, fresh, food and spice. Like there's some that I use in the kitchen, they're food and spice. Now, if you look at you put them in the kitchen. In the kitchen, yes, while burning. This is vanilla cupcake. Oh. This is a lard jar. This is a Yankee Candle classic lard jar. Mm. I'm gonna let you experience this okay. now. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> smells like Exactly. <laughs> it's just as though you're having a piece of cupcake. <laughs> so you know, for every space you have everything available to work with. These are the tea light candles. Okay. 
These are the tea light candles. These are tiny, small pieces that you can put in one of these accessories here and burn. I'll just show you how this works really quickly. So if you have a tea light holder, you can just put this in there. You see this is safe. It's going to burn out. This has a burn time of up to four hours. This will burn out. You take it out and put another one in there. And this is fragranced. So even, you know, depending on your space, you can use anything, your space, your budget. This larger has a burn time of up to 150 hours. Mm. So you can imagine if you buy this, you don't even have to come back till, you know, it depends it's on how much and how often you use it. Burn it straight for three hours, burn it straight for four hours, burn it straight all night long. I mean, it just depends on what works for you. Now we have um, what we call the Yankee Candle Votive. This is a Votive candle. Mm. It's a it's a different way of also fragrancing. They're all the same thing, but just in different ranges. So now you want a small jar, you want a large jar, you want a medium jar, you know, or you want a tea light candle yes. or a sampler. Now this one, you can have different fragrances. Put one here and you're burning. Have another fragrance. So you can have like four or yeah. five burn all around. They're all, yeah. exactly. So it just, it, just work, it just depends on what you like. I love to burn candles, so I'm usually burning, you know, a whole lot of them at several times. Now for the accessories, you see these are really pretty pieces. Mm -hmm. This is a large shade. It's black and gold. It's smashed mosaic. Mm -hmm. So they're made from glass, so they're actually breakable. Now the thing about this, I'm going to show you how it works right now. If you look here you'll see that we have the large jar candle right here okay. so imagine if you lit this candle yes. rather than placing this candle directly on your furniture sure. you put it in a tray this is a large tray you light it up you safe. put this shade over it it makes it even more safe and it's a decorative piece for your house hmm. so that space is instantly you know it's changed and it makes it so it's like a decor accessory. You can actually give this to people for gifts. Over Christmas, we had home fragrance baskets and all of that where you have different kinds of home fragrances and accessories in there as wonderful hampers for people to give their clients, their loved ones, their friends, their family. And I mean, the list is just, it's just endless. There's so much you can do with this. And it comes in different sizes. Different sizes. You've got the large ones. You've got and different colors as well. You've got the small, this is the smallest, you know, piece of it. This works with the smaller candles. The large one works with the large jars and the medium jars. So, you know, dependent on your budget, there is always something for everyone. Like I said, you have items from 100 naira and, you know, it goes that way. So you just walk in and there's always something for you. We've got what we call drawer liners. Now, this one, rather than line your drawers with uh, newspaper or old magazines, this is a centered drawer liner. You just line it there and, you know, so there's something for, there's something for everybody. You can even smell it from yeah. right here. This is champagne and roses. <laughs> this is, you know, we've got the ones that are even fresh linen. So this smells as though you just laundered your clothes and it's all out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It's it, and it's just and it's just out. So there's so much you can do. That's why most of our clients range from you know personal homeowners, interior design stores, hotels, even large departmental stores. You know, in their home fragrance department, they've got the candles, they've got this, and you know, so much that work for everybody. What does it take to be an interior designer? You know, must someone have inborn skills, or do you have to go to special training? you know, schools to develop your skills? The first thing, of course, to be an interior designer is to have the passion, you know. So it's innate first, but you know, having a passion and having a flair and having something innate, you know, from inside of you is not enough, especially if you want to say to, you know, your clients that you're a professional. Now, the interior design field is 
an ever-evolving field because it's a creative field. So now the trends of 2013 are not the same trends of 2014 and 2015 and, you know, beyond. So you need to keep, you know, um, improving yourself. So we attend courses and all. But before all of that, yes, I did train as an interior designer. I trained at the Joe Hamilton School of Design in London, the Chelsea College of Arts in London, and the KLC Art School in London as well. And we've done a few short courses in Milan, in um, New York as well. And it just, you know, keeps going on. In the, uh, this year alone, we already have, an, you know, we have our work schedule, you know, fully booked with trainings and courses just to see the new trends, what's happening and how we can add the wow factor and the oomph to the work we do here in Lagos and beyond. Okay, so what would you say to someone that is young, you know, that may not be able to afford to go to, you know, school abroad? What would they do when they want to become um, interior designers? What are they supposed to do? First thing, even right here in Nigeria, you know, there's the Interior Designers Association of Nigeria. So what you can do first, you could, you know, look for, you could first, you know, look for any of the registered members of the I IDAN and um, see how you can perhaps go work with one of the, you know, growing interior designers or the already established, you know, brands and names in Nigeria, be an understudy. It might be a pro bono work. You might not get paid for it. You might get paid not too much, but you know, because you know the end goal, then, you know, you'll be there, avail them of your services and, you know, just put a focus in it and gradually you'll be able to, you know, put together the fees for some of these courses. And then you don't even have to start up all large, like, um, you know, do a long term course. You could start with a short because they've got some bite sized courses where um, introduction to interior design and somebody could just go there and attend that. They do those kind of trainings for people who want to be professional interior designers, looking to be professionals, or perhaps you have a little home project you want to undertake and you know you just take through those courses, they take you through those courses so that you know the little fine details and you know the, you know because as much as you've got a flair or a passion for it, there is you know a straight line and there's some do's and some don'ts that would make your work a little more appealing to your clients. I am sure you've been so inspired by this episode. At least you've learned a thing or two about home fragrances and the importance of having them in your homes. But most importantly, what makes Olusion stand out is the fact that she heard from God. Now hearing from God in your business matters a lot. And remember, with passion, dedication and commitment to what you do, you would go very far. Until I come your way again, bye for now.